Hi, I'm Victor Fuentes. I'm from Barcelona and I work for iProsim Germany in the Munich office. Here, Pascal, my position is to give insights through data. And I want you to introduce what more we do. Now, online marketing, we collect, we gather a large amount of data. And we want to give information, we want to extract knowledge from it. It's more or less easy to do this regarding the past, to describe the past, what happened, more or less easy to describe the present. We use chat like this, but also would be interesting to describe or to explain what will happen in the future. That's a bit more complex. And to do this, we use mathematics. I want to introduce you in the next few minutes how we use mathematics, how we use a mathematical model to explain, to, to forecast the future. And to do this, I want to use a metaphor. Let's say weather forecasting is easy to understand and it's easy to follow up. Yes, we will talk about rain and sun. In the weather forecasting, we use predictive models and we use our structure, call it decision trees. What a decision tree is, basically is a structure. We have a root, a starting point, we have some nodes where we make decisions, uh, we have leaves, the results of the decisions made. What we have to do right now is to fill with data this structure and to follow the branches making decisions to have answer to a very simple question in the weather forecasting. It will be rain tomorrow, yes or not? So, okay, so here we have the decision tree, the structure we showed before, fill it with weather related data. In this case, we found that the most relevant variables are pressure, cloth rate, and temperature. There are a lot of more, but those are the most important. So we have a question, do you remember? It will be rainy tomorrow. We want an answer, yes or no. So to find this, let's follow. Let's imagine today at 3 p.m. we have um, pressure greater than 1012.5 millibars, yes. Following this branch, we make this decision. What's the temperature today at 5 p.m. less than 20 degrees? Let's say yes. So we have tomorrow a 74% of probability that yes, it will be raining. In the previous example, in the weather forecasting, we used a structure, a decision tree, to answer a very simple question. It will be rain tomorrow with a very simple answer. Yes, no. We do the same, we apply the same strategy in online marketing. In this case, for example, imagine we have a website and we want to now to answer a question, a very simple one. This user will be purchased some product and we want an answer, yes or no. We do the same, we build with some variables, we build a decision tree, and we have to follow as we did before. Let's say we have a purchase frequency of credit 3.2, a bounce rate credit also 0.65, so this user, yes, will be buy. We buy some product of, of website, and this yes has a 68.4 probability that is true. That's basically how was the predictive models applied in weather forecasting, but also in online marketing forecasting. So, with the previous examples, we showed that predictive model was both fine, weather forecasting, and online marketing. So it's possible, yes, to, to make some kind of online marketing prediction. But as you said, 
how much confidence do you are with a weather report? Yes, that's because in upcoming sessions we will talk about probabilities. Thanks for listening and goodbye.